What's going on guys, your boy Kwame here. I'm sure most of you are wondering what we're going to be doing right now to keep our gains. I know it's been crazy with the pandemic going on, there's a lot of social distancing going on, so everyone is isolating and staying at home. So I'm going to be showing you guys what I do to keep my gains at home with minimal equipment. So I know most of you watching right now have a few dumbbells or something lying around at home. So this workout is for you. So join me, let's get this pump and let's keep those gains guys, let's do it. All right guys, our first exercise is our dumbbell shoulder press. I love this exercise, it's a great compound movement. Generally, I'll be going for 12 reps of this, making sure I'm keeping this controlled, bracing my core, and I'll be doing about five sets of this. A great way to um, gauge how you're going as well is to go up progressively, so it slowly increase our weight. Keep that um, challenge to the muscles as well after each set. So with the progressive overload, you can be increasing that weight after each set. An example could be I could start on eight kilos for my first set and then go up to 10 for my next set and 12. Nice slow progression. It being a compound movement, you are engaging quite a lot of muscles, a lot of um, synergistic muscles in the process. So we wanna make sure we keep that control so we end up using more muscles than joints. And my delts are cooked. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on, we are going to be doing a lateral raise. I love this exercise, it's great for capping our delts, but we're not ending there. We are going to be supersetting this with standing bicep curls. And this is great because more muscles are going to be engaged and great for a home workout. Because let's be honest, you probably ain't going to be doing cardio anyway. All right, guys. Let's get into it, making sure when you pick up the weights from the ground, you are bracing your core, keeping your back nice and straight, so you keep safe. Keep our chest up, the weight's nice and high and controlled, on the way up and down. That controlled movement is really important. Now switching over to bicep curls, we are going to be doing both of them at the same time, giving a little bit of a squeeze right at the top of the movement so we can really feel that pump. And I know you all love the pump. Keep it going. For this team, we are going to be aiming for 12 reps with our lateral raises and 12 reps with our bicep kills. You know guys, you can also install a mirror um, right next to you so you can see those gains as you go. Oh, that's good. I think I finished my training for the year, so see you later guys. No, I'm just kidding. We're moving on to our next exercise, guys. <laughs> awesome team. Our next exercise, we are going to be supersetting again. We're going to be hitting the back of our delts and we're going to superset on that with some tricep dips. So we can't forget the triceps, the bigger part of the arm. Some people like to think it's the biceps, but look, if you get those triceps big, you're gonna get some serious guns and you know, you're gonna have to have a weapon check every time you go to the airport. So we're gonna be leaning over slightly, making sure you sit sitting right at the edge of the couch, guys. Keep our chest braced and out. Again, keeping that nice control, engaging those muscles. A lot of you probably think you can't get a good home workout. But let me tell you something, guys. When you're at home and you're alone, and you have no one to talk to, the only thing you'll focus on is your workout. So I can guarantee you, you're probably gonna get a much better workout out of this. Oh, can we die? Woo! All right, super certain. Now when we're doing this exercise, our dip, we are focusing on pushing through our palms to get those triceps activated. Bracing our core, nice and controlled. If you can't feel in your triceps, give it a little bit of a squeeze right at the top of the movement and I guarantee you, you'll get a nice pump. So we are going to be doing 12 reps, supersetting it with another 12 reps of dips. So 12 reps of reverse flies and 12 reps of dips. We are going to be doing five strong savage sets of this. Now we've hit it from the back, we've hit it from the side. Don't get any ideas guys, we've got to hit it from the front. We are doing front raises. Little bit of a um, point of difference here, we are doing an isometric hold, which basically means right at the top of the movement, we're going to hold it for three seconds. We are going to be doing 12 reps of each. One, two, three. You can count when you're at the top. One, two, three. It's a good way to keep it going keep you from getting bored in this isolation period as well. <laughs> More importantly, focus on your workout, guys. After you've done 12 reps of that, we are going into some side hammer kills. 
Getting that squeeze right at the top. One, two, three. One, two, three. We have 12 reps on each arm. One, two, three. Making sure you're getting that squeeze. One, two, three. I'm not looking at my arms for the purpose of checking out my guns, but guys, um, once I draw my attention to you though, it is easier for me to activate the muscle groove. So, really, really good for mind muscle connection. And now that we've raised our biceps, we've got nothing else to do than to move on to our next one. All right, you guys are probably going to hate me for this one because we are supersetting this exercise with a close grip push-up, which I know most of you hate. But look, you can't hate me because we have the legendary Arnold press in here. And let's be real, no one hates Arnold. So, gonna get into this. Again, bracing our core, keeping our chest up. We are going to be going for burner set. So we have 20 reps of each one. We're going up, bringing in, nice control. All about that burn. All right, now we're done with this. We're gonna crawl up here, and we're going to be moving on to our close grip push-ups. Remember, pushing through our palms, it's really important. We are working our triceps on this one. And now nice and controlled, and up. So I hope you guys enjoyed that session, guys. But remember, guys, this is only one part of it. You guys gotta make sure you eat well, go out, get some sun as well, exercise regularly, get some cardiovascular fitness in. Also, focus on that mental health because it is important. I have started meditation, I love it, I do it every morning. Um, again, you can't put a price on your health, so make sure you treat it well. If you guys did enjoy this, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe because there is gonna be more coming. And I want to make sure that you guys don't miss out on this. We out.